So once you log into the Vercel account, you will see a desktop, uh, sorry, a dashboard similar to this. So click on Add New drop-down list and Project, and there you can see a choice to import a Git repository. So continue with the GitHub, GitHub, uh, because uh, this is where we uh, push our code. So continue with GitHub and then in my case i need to reconfigure it because i haven't uh, import all the repositories so i would click on this one and click on this option and then we need to in my case i need to reconfigure as i told you so if i had chosen all repositories I would not need to go through all these steps but in uh, in my case I only selected on a certain repository uh, repositories I need to reconfigure it so that's why I have I had to go through all these steps so anyway uh, I would choose only selected repositories and click on this choice and you can search for your repo uh, it's demo so this is the repo and then you can click on save as you can see here uh, I have two projects but this is the one I imported right now demo sentry next app and click on import so now you need to re uh, configure your project so project name is demo sentry next step you can change all these choices but i will leave it leave it as it is and the, the framework is ne uh, next js and the root folder is also the the root folder of the project as you can see here all our pages are here and if you have uh, created a, a subfolder inside demo sentry next app you need to and if you put all the these project files in that subfolder your subfolder would be the root directory for deployment but in this case my project uh, root folder is also the root directory uh, in deployment so i will leave this as it is now into uh, copy and paste environment variables so you can copy and paste from dot eme dot local the sanity project id the sanity data set you need to add here click on add so I have added uh, two variables and the sanity token so this is the token generated automatically on sanity cloud so we added three variables environment variables later in this project you will have to uh, also add a webhook uh, as an environment vari variable uh, but that comes later after we deploy and uh, when we generate a secret webhook, uh, webhook uh, secret you can add that uh, as an environment variable here so after this you need to click on deploy so if there is nothing wrong in your code it should uh, deploy it will take about 12 20 minutes seconds so 
still deploying as you can see it you can see the building process is going on here so if there's an error it would tell there is an error and it will display the error and uh, you need to make sure actually before you now the uh, deployment if there's no errors now you can see we have no errors so this is the preview of our app and click on that one as you can see the root folder according to the, the, the in the root in the domain we have this default app however make sure our app is not on the uh, root uh, directory uh, our app is actually at slash products so if you go to demo sanity next app dot virtual app slash products this is we we, we are we have our index js uh, project uh, file uh, that matches with matches with uh, this route and if you go to click on a specific product so this is the index of our products so if you add uh, press on laptop to change here and to display laptop and then and go back and you can click on desktop so our main idea here is to change these things as a uh, when the sanity cloud data set changes these should also change those uh, accordingly so this is where uh, what we're going to do in this project uh, with on demand on demand isr in next case thank you